everyone, welcome to Aether Gazer, and sorry I wasn't able to stream last night or early this morning. It was actually 12 midnight when we had uh, the launch in Global here in the Philippines. So I had to forego that, but when it launched, I played and played probably for two hours, if I can recall. And when I woke up this morning, another, you know, another run wherein I, you know, was able to test out and give you guys my first impressions. Okay, so first and foremost, if you can see here, the UI is, is actually very simple. It's um, placed as usual. It's, it's not uh, really that clean but it's it's actually very functional so you have here settings you have here this i think your daily sign in and the like missions are here mail chat friends up above you have um your energy which is this one uh you have your credits here or your gold this is your summon currency um uh, this one is called shifted star the other one this is your premium currency which is um flower something shifting flowers okay so those are your currency guys and that is how we spend um you know for the game you have your banners here of course and uh, so far we haven't had any codes yet so I i'm wondering w when they're going to be putting out codes for the community so i'm actually i was actually expecting codes because they have um they have uh what they call this they have given rewards already but no codes so far okay so um again energy for this game is a bit um it's a bit scarce um i'm not actually um i'm not actually uh what do you call this i'm not actually relying on these these are your top up for your energy so if that runs out i'm sure everybody will run out of energy but again the game has little energy kind of similar to higan iruthil in terms of energy um the gotcha system let's uh, go to the gotcha system here so these are your uh, banners here let's go here so you currently have three banners here so one two three this is for your weapon kind of a attachment to your weapon but it's also a gotcha system which i don't really like but these are your main banners this is your limited banner here this is your rate up banner okay so this is with a different currency so shinri and uh, rahu is also with a different currency but you can use your shifting a uh, shifting star if you need to summon for both banners okay so the gacha system is um as you can see here s grade modifier guaranteed within 30 scans or pulls which is actually impressive so the pity is only up to 70 and you can actually monitor your summon history here every page is 10 so i'm now up to 70 for this banner so you can actually monitor what you have pulled and how many you have pulled so far so i'm liking the gacha system except for the gacha system for the equipment and um let's go back to the main uh main ui so this is actually where you do all your farming you have challenges here these are these are uh content that are unique from each other this one is farming for sigil which is kind of your gear not your weapon this is for your supplies for your level up and this is going to be for your main story okay and we have your of course your inventory your guild so far i joined the guild but i left i'm gonna be joining a guild in by tomorrow because there's a cooldown of 24 hours um and also you have your functor 
this is the one that I mean that that that, that I meant that uh, is actually in a gacha banner. So the functor is actually linked to your weapon. We'll go to the weapon in a while. We all they also have a meow. This is kind of a an additional um uh companion with buffs and abilities so you have to choose wisely on what effects you need for your team which is actually perfect for you as you go along the story you can unlock each and every one of them okay so they carry buffs for your team depending on what team you have you have scan and your um your characters are called modifiers okay for the modifier uh, of course, these are your basic stats. Your skills are here. They usually scale depending on the level of the character, depending on the level of the account as well. You have ultimate skill chain. So if you have uh, um, two or three uh, characters that uh, are good with an ultimate skill chain, they will actually proc instead of only one character in the skill chain or more or less it's going to be more powerful if the ultimate skill chain takes effect so either two characters are involved or three okay access key this is what i was mentioning so this is their weapon but this is the one that i mentioned that is in that gotcha banner so this one i don't really like this because again there will be two gotcha systems that you will be rolling for or summoning for every time so I'm not sure, but again, this I think the only thing that I did that I don't like sigils are buffs. Um, I, I I you know I treat them as gears. They have skill set effects, so you have to have three of each for you know for a set effect to take effect. And the codes are here. This is kind of your skill tree. You have to open them and you can actually use only a um, an imprint. So an imprint is actually a line of code that you can only use. So once you take out an imprint and you select another imprint, then you'll be using those set of skills uh, or activate those set of skills. Okay, so as for... Yeah the character design um it's a bit pgr i wouldn't you know i wouldn't lie um you know to you guys it's uh, my opinion it's it, it's a little bit pgr but i don't really mind it um that's not why i'm actually playing this game it's the the, the gameplay is a bit similar yet different from pgr so Let's go to one gameplay here, guys, and I'll, you know, I'll show you what I mean. For those who have not played this game and for those who are still, you know, uh, thinking of playing this game. So we're going through the story. So these are, so you have 40 here. So let's depart. I'm going to be using my mobile here um, so that. Let's do one more of this one. Let's re-clear this because I want to see. I want you guys to see all three characters. So you have three there. Obviously, you have your combat power up there. So for your combat power, um, again, as you level them up, they go up as well. This is what I mean. The ultimate skill chain. So I have one skill chain up uh, activated, which is the uppermost. So we'll demo that later. Then this is your companion here. So I opted for that guy. And you can actually select three. So the two others will be controlled by AI. And the main team leader will be controlled by you. Okay, so this is what I like about this game. Because it's not really... You don't really have to switch within battle for you to use them or for you for them to assist you they will be controlled by ai so let's move forward here and engage this one and let us see how we're gonna be playing this okay 
So let's just skip this one. So as you can see here, it's kind of really similar with PGR. It has a different mechanic to it in terms of uh, the dodging is similar. But the active skill, you can combo the active skill if you want. Every character has a different combo for their act active skill. So take note of that. Because it will really play a big role on which character you want to eventually play and you want to stick with. Okay, so I would suggest that you practice with one or two characters for their um, skill combo. The skill combo is the buttons there, the four, starting from the second from, you know, from below. So this is actually going to be your ultimate skill chain. So I'm going to be activating it. And we have another one, another ultimate. So technically, you have a lot of ultimates. I think you'll have you'll be having two at least. So there you go. So what I'm saying is, there are a lot of um, a lot of skills to learn, really, when it comes to your um, your team combos active skill combos there it's going it's going to be there in the tutorial so again this is actually if you compare with pgr i like this more it's not really that hard to play this game not really a lot of combos to take note of not a lot of switches in terms of characters and um i think it's it, it's more fun to have three rather than only have one in a battle so again i like the format i like it better i'm gonna be sticking with this for probably the next few months and see how i progress so far so i played already for one whole day and i'm actually liking this game i will stick to it and uh, probably give you guides guys in, in the next few days and also if you have played this game already, Aether Gazer, what are your thoughts? Is it similar to PGR? Is it a game on its own? What do you think of the gameplay versus PGR? What do you think of uh, the characters? Me, I prefer this over PGR. I think I had it. It took a lot of my time playing PGR because there was there was a lot to learn. The learning curve is actually very big but for this one um probably get give give you a day or two then you could understand the system already so that is it guys for my first impression so comment down below also put a like to this video if you find it informative so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here